Whoa. Hey. Hello, beautifuls and beloveds. Low tech version. So, hi, my name is Noelle Rose Anderson hyphen Kale. Yes, I'm married and uh, having fun with it. God, the thing going on. So, happy Easter, everybody. It is uh, 4 12 2020, right? Oh my god, it sounds so strange when you say 2020, but it is. Uh, so this, the title of this video is without any disrespect, I'll explain everything in a second, but happy Easter or happy resurrection day or the Easter Keista, uh, <laughs> something that my grandmother used to say, she'd say, will you get your Easter Keista over here? And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, kids who are rambunctious and we were running around having fun and my grandmother wanted us to uh, saddle up and come on into the kitchen so we could do uh, what we do and did on uh, Resurrection Day. And uh, that's what she would say to us to get our attention. Get your Easter Easter's over here. Um, it's funny. It's a joke. Wow. Uh, okay, so I want to just do a quick quick little honor and tribute to our Lord Jesus and uh, today in modern times uh, it is a day to celebrate and rejoice. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord was risen from the grave. He died three days prior. Good Friday. It's a cool thing. Okay, now uh, BC and the crucifixion. Now that not necessarily was that kind of cool. I mean, a human being, three of them actually died on that day. There was Jesus, and then on either side, there were two thieves. Let's just kind of be brief. Um, and one of them accepted the Lord in his heart, and the other one was prideful and did not. Interesting how the Lord always provides an example of the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. He provides a means of escape for or from sin and that is a prime example same thing prior to that we had um, Peter who denied him and then we had Judas who denied him they both betrayed him in a sense but one Peter showed repentance uh, and then Judas did not they both had guilt this was the guilt with repentance that led to forgiveness and this was the guilt that led to condemnation not cool um, and they both happened these examples within pretty close timing but the whole Bible is like that there's no excuse I'm not putting myself on a pedestal or anything I'm just saying there's no excuse there's always an example to say hey this is the better choice um, but anyway, uh, at his death at that time, everybody was crying, of course, I would hope. It's a horrible thing. People die, we're sad, it's okay. Jesus wept is the shortest verse in the Bible. If it's okay for our Lord Jesus to cry, it's okay for us human beings to follow suit. I would worry about you if you didn't cry over sad things. You know, depending on the level of it. Of course, we all have a different tolerance. But, uh, you know, so many people nowadays just want to create stone-cold, artificial intelligent people. But yet still have them be human. It's pretty sick, actually. We'll get into that in another video. But anyway, so on Resurrection Day, they didn't understand his death. That's why they were crying. Until, until Resurrection Day. So three days later, uh, there was no sorrow because he was the propitiation on the cross and they started gaining understanding because if you recall the tomb the stone in front of the tomb was rolled away he moved that stone and it was the women that actually believed it was him interesting isn't it go female race <laughs> um but he was risen and he proved himself he proved himself to the disciples who were left there were 12, but there were 11 because the other hung himself, right? Judas hung himself. His lack of repentance and his guilt led to death. So uh, the other thing that was so beautiful that 
this is after the fact, was his ascension in, into heaven. You know, do not be afraid, for I am always with you, and I will leave behind a helper, a helpmate, which was the Holy Spirit. And then you have Pentecost and all these beautiful things. So Pentecost and after, we have rejoice, we have celebration, we have freedom, we learn about the gifts of the Spirit that the Lord uses through us. I mean, you might use a gift once, or the Lord might use it through you once, or you might actually have um, a position as prophet and then you're used upon many times. Uh, we also learned that uh, we had direct access to God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, because of Jesus, because of the Holy Spirit. We didn't have to uh, provide a propitiation anymore. We didn't have to go shopping for doves or other animals and make sacrifices of burnt offering. We could go directly before the Lord because Jesus was that burnt offering, that sacrificial lamb, if you would. Uh, the Holy Spirit was also a comforter. So there was many good things that came out of something horrible. So when we as Christians were across around our neck, it's not to say, hey, something gross happened, and here's this guy, and uh, here, I'm gonna throw it in your face. Let's remember who was beaten to death, and it was brutal. Yes, that was horrible, but he did that for us. Would you do that for somebody? I don't think I could, I don't think I would. I'm not that type of person, or maybe I would, I don't know. Um, but he was. He was without flaw, without sin, without mistake, without error, and he was able to die. So we don't have to keep buying doves or buying lambs or, you know, going through that. He did that so we didn't have to go to hell. He did that so we didn't have to pay the price ourselves. He did that. Name something more loving than that. You're not going to be able to. When somebody lays his life down for a friend, and he considers us more than friends, he considers us his children. That's pretty heady stuff, people. So you remember that. That was unselfish law. And I hope that we all remember that on this Resurrection Day. And sure, it's great to have little Easter bunnies and the eggs and all of that. That is a fertility thing, honoring the gods of fertility, wishing a very happy seed planting time. <laughs> um, but let's just face it, that was mirrored and mimicked and covered up in a sense to take away the glory and beauty of somebody doing something selfless but you know it's fine to have all these other little frivolous things as long as it doesn't become an idol or take the place of the Lord Jesus so you know have fun I know we're going through a trying time right now so everybody please stay safe healthy and happy um, and always remember this Jesus left his mark in this world with his word and through you and me and his creation. And we are his creation. We are really all of his children, but we may not all call him Abba Father. That is the sad truth. And let me make this a little bit more clear. A lot of people have gotten mad, not me, but other people for saying that we're all God's children. Okay, so then we're all God's creation, if that appeases you and satisfies you with semantics better, then use that instead. But we are all his creation, and not all of us will yield. Sad truth. But anyway, no matter how you celebrate it, please, happy Easter, celebrate the Resurrection Day, and um, yeah, beautifuls and beloveds, much love to you. Oh, I didn't do the whole thing, Dance Warrior. We were all real and censored, you know, the whole rundown. Okay, love you guys. Ooh.